Get your hands off of my woman, motherfucker. Justin Hawkins. We gotta love him. Have you seen his Justin Hawkins rides again? It's a good channel there. He really went from zero subs, I mean, really fast. He's like 250,000 subs now, but uh, he twisted up his goodie baskets. He, qu he twisted up his goodies doing one of them David Lee Roth high kicks. I wanted to see this. I don't know if this video actually has this. I, I mean, that's what I want to see is do him doing the uh, David Lee Roth high kicks and smashing and, and twisting up his goodies. Uh, he says that he, he he was doing a jump around like David Lee Roth, and then he, he heard something kind of tweak on him. And then he says, uh-oh, my goodies are twisted up. The Darkness Singer fucked up a hamstring. Wait, the hamstring is underneath the buttocks, right? It's the muscle that runs down the back of the legs. Uh, it's And that's it, go, it leads right up to your... your, your uh, is it, or is it the goodie baskets? Is it the muscles that connect to the testicle bag. Darkness frontman Justin Hawkins has revealed that he fucked up the hamstring in his left leg doing a David Lee Ross style jump at a recent concert. The 47-year-old British-born singer, who presently resides in Switzerland, spoke about his stage mishap in an interview with Classic Rock magazine. He said, well, me and me brother try to run, even when we're on tour. But I haven't been able to do anything for a while because I did a David Lee Roth-style split jump and fucked me hamstring in me left leg. It was a great jump. It looked very great with me legs over me head. But when I landed, I went, uh-oh. Hawkins continued, Then... We were just on tour in Australia in October 2022, and I jumped on the balcony. It didn't have the sort of lip I'm used to. So I ended up falling in a bit sideways and broke me rib. So at the moment, I'm limping and I, can't, I find it difficult to breathe. But apart from that, I'm in tremendous shape. And he really is because you're not going to put on a little outfit like that. A stretchy outfit like that, with the, it's like an Elvis kind of a style thing, right? Uh, if you're in not good shape, even though I would wear one around the house if I had one. I don't know what this is, but anytime's a good time to listen to the darkness do get your hand off of my woman. So let's see if it let's see if he does it. And let's see if the camera will clue in here. Zoom in. I love this song. <laughs> Great record. Great rock band. Oh, it's Aaron Charles. Very high energy. Got the nipples hanging out. He he wears those shirts where the just the you, you get these out. They look like little eyeballs. It looks like a face going ooh. He's got his belly button and his two nipples hanging ooh, and just hanging out. He's going ha, ooh, ha. You know, just having a good time with it. High energy, this guy. Get your hands on my woman, motherfucker. I mean, I really don't know why they would actually put a video connected to the story if this isn't this video that uh, where he twists up his goodie bags. How'd you like to hear that screech coming out of the closet at you in the middle of the night? Even if it's not Justin Hawkins, but it's that screech, that scream of his, and it's in your closet in the middle of the night. You're in your underpants, you're laying in bed, you know, and then you hear that screech come out of the closet. Another good point I would like to make to this is, is this guy a good singer, a good front man, or both? Because remember, D. Snyder was giving everybody all that grief about uh, uh, Robert Plant not being a good uh, performer, but a good singer, but he wasn't a showman. He wasn't a, 
stage performer. This guy's got it all. He's got everything. He's got the vocal. He's got the rocking tunes. He's got the outfits. I put him head to head against D. Snyder. I'd like to know what D. Snyder thinks of Justin Hawkins and the darkness. You can't say that he's not. He's got. Where's your nipples, D? I don't see your nipples poking out. See, I got that crowd going. Oh yeah, he's gonna do something right here. I mean, you tell me. Okay, D. Snyder, you're gonna tell me that this guy isn't a performer? Have you ever done a freaking handstand, headstand, and spread your, your hammy, hammy stringed legs like that by the drums, no less? I don't think so, your wig would fall off. He's clapping with his feet. D, you got something to say? When Justin Hawkins tells you he's in shape, he's in shape. I mean, that's better than a David Lee Roth kick, what he just did right there. I always like the cut of this guy's jib here. He looks like a news reporter from 1970s, you know, like the, the Regal Times. Excuse me, we need to get, you know, we're doing an investigative report. You know, he's got a, he's got a nice vibe going. Not the same drummer though, right? <laughs> See, a showman lets the microphone hang over the back and, and smack into the, the tight ass cheeks. This guy's pointing at it going, look at that. That microphone is just tapping him gently right in the buttocks. He says, I'm bleeding bloody tired. Yeah, D. Snyder, you got something to say about this? He says, I've got a rap recorder. Great voice, great performance. Is he going to do anything else? I want to. Is he going to get over there and do more leg kickings? All right. Well, that was enough for my money. What was that at? I want to see his. I want to see him do leg jacks. Kicking leg jacks. What do they call that? He's a very talented person. And get your hand up in my wall. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna leave it right them and there and there and that. Uh, hitting very many topics on this. I don't know if this was the video where he actually um, twisted up his juices, but uh, uh, you cannot call you cannot, you cannot say that this guy isn't a excellent singer and performer. Whether you like his kind of falsetto voice or not, you cannot, D. Snyder cannot say that, oh, he's, he, yeah, he doesn't have any energy. That guy's got 10 times the energy, okay? What say you? Get in the comments and tell me. Mm. Get your hands up in the world, motherfucker. Get your hands up in the world, motherfucker.